happening. Y'all make some noise. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. It's a movie theater where we can make some noise in this motherfucker tonight. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Y'all should be sitting up here. Ain't, ain't, there's not really a movie tonight. I don't know if they told y'all or not, but there's not, there's not really a movie. Y'all can. Yeah, why don't y'all come up here? Yeah, bring y'all asses up here. Khalid, where my nigga? Khalid, this ain't your family. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Y'all ain't lost, y'all. Y'all really didn't think it was a movie, did you? Nah. All right, maybe it's a movie after the comedy show. Let's just sit here. <laughs> ain't no one said shit to him. Sit y'all asses down up here with everybody else. <laughs> What's up, yo? Hey, man, check this shit out, man. My boy Will, man. Let's hear it first of all, man. Let's hear it for all the other comedians y'all heard tonight. Them mother, hey, they dope. They dope out here. Anton, Coy, you know what I'm saying? They did their shit. They always do. I've been doing comedy with these cats for a while. Will, he even admitted he new to the game. You know what I'm saying? He put on a comedy show. And uh, apparently, um, your, your wife, your, your wife ain't white, is she? No, she oh, okay. Oh, that's you? I'm like, who the fuck gonna give a black person a theater, a whole movie theater to do comedy in? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think about this. A whole movie theater? <laughs> like, do anything, but just don't play a movie. <laughs> but check this shit out, though. I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. From everybody from here on down, I, you know what I'm saying? I invite you. This is my boy, Khalid. What's up, baby? You know what man? He brought his whole family out, Brandon and his wife, my man King. And my boy Will was like, hey man, just bring everybody, man. Bring them, they'll be on the guest list. So that means everybody got in for free. <laughs> <laughs> and his ass still got to pay all the comedians. And this is the cold part. His wife was at the door ready to take the money. You ain't getting no pussy for like two weeks, man. <laughs> <laughs> like a job, like a paycheck. You ain't getting shit for two weeks. You know? He was up here trying to make it easy. Like, yeah, my baby graduated. I got to graduate from. Nigga, that's 40000 more dollars in debt, nigga. <laughs> 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 she get that phone call every day, too. Hey, um, this is Ann. We can show you how to lower your student loan debt. <laughs> <laughs> no more busy for you for a month, man. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hey, check this shit out. Let me ask y'all a question. You ever stayed the night at a friend's house and you went to go take a shower and all they had to wash up with was hair conditioner? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> that shit don't even lather up. <laughs> you don't even know if you're getting clean or not. <laughs> but your underarm and your booty hair be hella soft, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I only say that because there's so many black people in here. White people, yeah, they use dishwashing liquid. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> She's laughing like. <laughs> Don, huh? No, y'all use on y'all. Y'all just like palm olive in the Man, I got soaked in it. <laughs> that's an 80s commercial, y'all don't know. <laughs> that's some fuck. That's why I don't stay tonight at people's houses. Not even females. I stay tonight at just one female. We stay now. We got First of all, let me say this. We're in a movie theater. Okay? And they got the door wide open. I don't know if that's like a marketing tool or what. But I was, <laughs> I was outside earlier, and I seen a family walk by, and I heard someone yell, fuck! And the kid just started crying. <laughs> I don't want to go to the movies no more. <laughs> oh, this is a good idea. But anyway, back to the story. Not, I don't even stay at females' houses. For the simple fact that this chick, we got fucked up one night, she invited me to her house. And I thought I was being a gentleman by sleeping on her couch. She came out of the room, she's like, oh, you're gonna sleep out here, you don't wanna sleep in here with me? I'm like, no, that's fine. She's like, okay, good night, don't let the bed bugs bite. When I woke up in the morning, I didn't know that bitch meant that shit literally. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, I woke up looking like a nasty cracker bar. Oh. <laughs> Scratching like a hell in that. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bed bugs. <laughs> Messed up. Woo! Don't stay at people's houses. Hey, give it up for me, man. I just rekindled my relationship. I All just right. rekindled my relationship. With my weed, man. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucking dispensary used to be having my ass at Dollar Loan Center. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop fucking with the dispensaries because the dispensaries don't front. I found that shit out the hard way. And the guy stood in line for like a half an hour. Then I went to the front. Can I speak to the manager, please? <laughs> Like, how you doing, sir? Yeah, my name is D. Bro. You can check me out in the system. I come normally like three, four times a day. You know, I've been coming for a lot. I spend a lot of money here. I was wondering, can I hold something till payday? <laughs> she was like, security? <laughs> but my wee man didn't want to take me back at first. He was like, nah, go to the dispensary. I was like, nah, man, I mean, it's hard out here, nigga. They don't even sell nickels and shit. <laughs> Who don't sell nick bags? <laughs> Not the dispensary. So he finally did take me back. As soon as he did, I was like, hey man, can I hold something till Friday? Woo! <laughs> 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 I'm a fool. <laughs> but I get paid for it. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> shit. It's crazy. Hey, yo, man. I just came from work. And then I got here, yo. But I was on my way here from work. And I passed by a construction site. And I ain't seen not one motherfucking Mexican at a construction site. That's when I knew Donald Trump wasn't fucking around about that motherfucking wall. Matter <laughs> 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 of fact, it was all black guys out there. And they were just standing around, so it was just like, look like orange floating vest and shit. <laughs> like, that project ain't gonna get done for another three years. <laughs> we need the Mexicans back, shit. They do everything for us. Hey man, you ever work for a racist boss, yo? Anybody? I'm the only one? My man, you feel so much? Hey. It sucks, right? I think I work for a motherfucking racist boss. He used to say racist shit. I don't even think he knew he was saying racist shit. He'd be like, hey D, I was watching the basketball game the other night, and boy, you guys can really jump. <laughs> <laughs> I said, who, bald headed guys? He's like, no, black guys, and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> so I made sure, motherfucker, I got his ass back. Every time this motherfucker worked, I made sure I was late. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I come in, hey, hey, it's D, you late again, huh? I'm like, yeah, you know it's black guys, and then walked off. Like <laughs> 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 that shit. <laughs> crazy ass shit, yo. <laughs> I used to think white people were the most racist people ever, yo. But it's not. It's Mexican, Joe. The Mexicans are the most racist. Look, I used to work at this place in Northtown, yo. It's called the Sandbag Store. The Sandbag Store. Think about it, bro. Who the fuck is gonna feel sandbagged? Anybody but a robot or Mexican? <laughs> and me. <laughs> I'm the only black person there. It was all Mexicans and shit. And it's the one thing about a Mexican. They're gonna show you something, they're gonna show you once. And if you ain't fast and efficient at it, your ass is about to be replaced by their cousin next week. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, that's real shit. But it ain't fair. Because they don't just explain shit to you. They, it's like a combination of motherfucking hand signals, Spanish, and fucking whistles and shit. You know? <laughs> like, mira, mira, mira aquí, aquí. <laughs> This confuses me and shit. I just like, hell say, was it <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> get his ass out of here? It's fucked up. Yo, man, it's tough being black, man. Like, like I'm dark skin. I know that. I know I'm black. I've been knowing I'm black for some time now. <laughs> But I'm tired of people comparing me to shit that's clearly blacker than me. Like charcoal. 
<laughs> tar. <laughs> they just call me a tar baby and shit. That's my mama. <laughs> <laughs> but look, this is the latest one, man. This is a new one to me, yo. Somebody called me cell phone black. Oh. Cell phone black. It made me so mad. I can say it was Android or iPhone. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but I know I'm black. I know that shit. But I never thought I was that black. So I decided to do a little experiment to see how black I really am. I shaved my eyebrows. And nobody noticed. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't notice. Oh, shit. <laughs> now I got to go to rest of the night with people looking to see if I really shaved my eyebrows. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. But look, I've been doing this comedy for some time now. And I thought I finally started getting noticed for doing comedy. I was in the airport the other day and this pretty chick came up to me. She was like, oh my God, oh my God, can we take a picture? I was like, sure. So we took a picture. She's like, thanks, Seal. <laughs> I said, I'm not Seal. She said, oh, you're not? Because I've always wanted to give Seal some pussy. I was like, no, 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 no. Hey, my name is Dee Brooks, man. Give it up for yourself. Give it up.